Hello, today we'll be doing 3.1. So welcome to chapter three. So 3.1 is about reflections. Um, go ahead and take a moment and do this exploration. And um, so you follow the link, click on the boxes to show the original, the reflect and the mirror line, move the points and the mirror line around. What do you notice? So compare and contrast the original shape and its reflection. What is the same and what is different? So. Go ahead, pause the video, try that out a little bit, and then come back to the video. Okay, so transformation. A transformation is when a shape is moved, resulting in an image. There are four main types of transformations. So there's a reflection, rotation, translation, and a dilation. Dilation. Um, so today's transformation, we are just going to be focusing on a reflection. So a reflection is a type of transformation where shape is reflected over a line. So if we take a look at this example right here, if we were to fold the paper right in half on this line K, these two images will go right on top of each other perfectly because it's a, a mirror image of one another. Um, so we have a pre-image and an image. As you can see in the reflection example, it says pre-image and image. So the pre-image is the original shape before the transformation. And the image is the shape after the transformation. So this is how we would notate that. So let's say we're using triangles, so if I have triangle ABC for my pre-image, my image would be triangle A, B, and C. So pretty much between an image and a pre-image, or a pre-image and an image, you just add a little apostrophe sign. So even if we're just like moving one point, if I had point A, then my image would be point A prime. Okay, let's take a look at example one. So which option below? shows a reflection, select all that apply. So I'm going to give you a second to kind of take a look at these and decide which ones you think are reflections or not. All right, so once you had a chance for doing that, I ended up with A, C, and E. So for all of the, for these three, if I were to fold them in half, the images would be right on top of one another. B and D, definitely not. They're in completely different places. If you were to fold it right in half, they wouldn't land on top of one another. F, F could have been kind of a tricky one because you're like, oh, well, they look the same, so they must be a reflection. But if I were to fold it on top, um, this line here wouldn't land on this line here. So this one is also not a reflection. Okay. So, reflect the given figure over the x-axis, for example, too. So, if we reflect it over the x-axis, that's right here. Okay. So, we want to reflect this image over the x-axis. So, we're going to go point by point. I'm going to go ahead and start with A. So, A is two points away from my axis, right? So, if I want to reflect that, I also want it two points away the other direction. So, that will be my A prime. I'm going to go ahead and do that with B as well. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it takes me 6 to go down. So also I want to go 6 the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I know the numbers on this side, but I want to make sure you guys see and understand why I'm going down that many. All right, and then we'll also do it with C. So C I go down to. So I want to go down to past my um, reflection line. So there is C prime. So I can go ahead and connect all the dots. And there is my reflected line. So we want to go ahead and compare the coordinates. So A, we have, what is that? Negative 5, 2. B, I have 
negative 2, 6, and C, I have 3, 2. All right, now we're going to take a look at A prime and B prime. So A prime, negative 5, negative 2, B prime, negative 2, negative 6, and then C prime, 3, negative 2. So what kind of things do you notice between these points? Take a second, think about it. All right, so the X values are the same. Uh, the same. And the Y values change sign. So when we are working with when we are working with the x axis, we're flipping over the x axis, all of my x values will stay the same. Okay. Example three, we want to reflect the given figure in the y axis. So that means we are now taking a look at this y axis here. So if I want to know, I want to know how far away my a is and I want to go that same distance the other direction, so A prime. B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so B is going to go here, B prime. And then C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's my C prime, and I can go ahead and create my triangle now. So I did that same process. I want to know how far away it is from my um, reflection line, and then I go that same. Dis I have to go the same distance both ways, or else it won't be a reflection. Because if you fold it in half, it will be off very slightly. All right. So we want to go ahead and put the coordinates, and then compare these coordinates. So for A, I have two comma one, two, three, four. B. 5, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then C, 5, comma, negative 2. Alright, now we want to go ahead and look at our image. So A prime, I have negative 2, comma, 4, B prime, negative 5, comma, 6, and C prime, negative 5, comma, negative 2. So take a second, compare them. Alright, very similar to when we flipped it over the x-axis, but everything is flipped. So that means our y's, y values, stay the same. And the x values switch signs. So if we are reflecting straight over either one of the axes, then we will have either the same x or the same y, depending on if you're flipping over the x or the y. Okay, so compare the images and pre-images for number two and three. Because the image triangles are the same shape and the same size, as the pre-images, we can say that the reflection is a rigid transformation. So if you make a transformation that creates the same shape and same size, it is considered a rigid transformation. All right, so let's take a look at a reminder of graphing horizontal and vertical lines. So horizontal line, so that's left and right. Let's go ahead and start with the graph. So horizontal line, when you think of a horizontal line, it's definitely left and right. It goes through my y-axis, so that means my equation is going to be y equals some number, whatever that number is. For this particular equation I did here, this one would be y equals 3, because it goes through the third point. Alright, now let's do the vertical line. So vertical line, if I drew my vertical line here, that goes through my x-axis, so my equation is x equals some number. For this particular graph I just drew, is x equals negative 4. Alright, 
So with those in mind, we're going to go ahead and try example 4 and 5. So for example 4, we want to reflect the shape in y equals 1. So I'm going to have to draw a line over y is 1. So here is my reflection line. So when we are counting our points, we are counting our points from the reflection line. I know that line is super close to the x-axis, but we are reflecting it over y equals 1, not the x-axis. So when I'm counting my points, so from A, I want to count to my reflection line, which means if I go down here, this is A prime on my x-axis. All right, and then with B, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once again, I'm going to y equals 1, not the x-axis. And then C, we go down 1, so I go down 1 here. So I have C prime there. So now I can create my triangle between these three points. Alright, let's go ahead and write out the coordinates for each of these. So A prime, we go, it's negative 5, 0, because it doesn't go up or down at all from the 0, 0. Alright, B, we go over negative 2 and down negative 4, and then C, we're at 3, comma 0. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in here. We probably could have written it straight here, but doesn't hurt to write over again. Alright, now let's take a look at example 5. So reflect the image over x equals 1. So x equals 1 is right here. So as we can see, this line goes through the line I'm trying to reflect. That is okay. We're still going to do the same process. So let's start with x. So for x, I can go over 2 to my line of reflection, and then I'm going to go over to the other way. So x prime there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the w. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now my w prime is just on the other side of my line. So if I am to connect these two points, once again, it goes over that reflected line, but as you can see, they meet in the middle, and that's because that middle point doesn't change because of where it's being reflected. So it's okay if your reflection line goes through the line, you still want to reflect it as normal. So the coordinate points for these, we have negative 1, comma 4, and then over here we have 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one. All right, so W prime, 5 comma 1, and X prime, negative 1 comma 4. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and try 6 through 9. So go ahead and pause the video, and then it should be, the solution should be up by the time you look back. Alright, and here is 6 through 9. Alright, and that's the end of 3.1. If you have any further questions, please make sure you ask your teacher. Um, if you need, and feel free to watch this video as many times as needed. Have a great day.